Hey you guys, Unexceptional Rounder here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of a few heads up butt hands that I played the other day. And I uh, actually uh, played these while I was trying to upload another video. So, uh, heads up can be pretty entertaining, it can be exciting, and it can be very profitable if you um, are, you know, one, decent at it, and two, if you get the right opponents to play against. So, this uh, was a pretty interesting session. It, um, it turned out to be pretty profitable, and I just want to show some of the play that you'll find players making heads up, and see if we can kind of talk about talk about it and learn from it a little bit. So that uh, that first hand, not too eventful. Um, I did I did put these hands, uh, break them together, and I'll talk a little bit about heads up while we look at the play. Um, mainly, you just want to be very very aggressive, and you want to open almost all your buttons. I, I mean. Depends on how comfortable you are playing different hands, but I open, um, you know, a vast majority of uh, hands when I'm on the button. So here, uh, obviously, we, we turn the straight, and that's good news. We're going to be aggressive. We're going to always be betting. Um, I can't stress, I mean, the key to heads up is just being aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. And what, what that does is two things. It wins you a lot of pots, and it puts your opponent on edge. Uh, people don't like being bet into all the time. People don't like it when you're aggressive all the time. It's irritating. It bothers them. Um, they don't know how to combat it very well. So it ends up working out. Uh, so we skip ahead. And uh, here we've got Ace Jack on the button. So, you know, we make a standard raise. And let's see how this plan, uh, hand plays out. Now, keep in mind, I've been, I've been being aggressive with this guy. I've been betting. I've been raising. And uh, notice I'm min raise because he's got a little bit of a shorter stack. We hit our top pair. Uh, he ends up betting out into us, and he's 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 a little bit frustrated. He, we've been aggressive, and uh, so we're just gonna call. We don't we don't need to get a lot more money in this pot to get all in, and he's probably a little bit irritated with us, and he's playing aggressive. So we just call, and then we call, and we've got position. So even if he does check to us, we can still make that final bet. He ends up putting it all in, and let's see what he's doing it with. So he's got a pair of tens. I mean, it's a good hand, but. Um, he, you know, did he really need to stack off with second pair in that spot? Probably not. I mean, it, it might be hard to get away from, but it, it shouldn't be, you know, it really shouldn't be that complicated. So that's, uh, that's the first sort of interesting play our, our player on the left makes. And, uh, and then we get a player sitting down on the right and we'll see how he plays. Now, this is actually a pretty interesting hand. Notice this player only has about uh, seven dollars behind so I'm not convinced that I like this play with the Queens uh, I end up actually uh, checking back when that six hits and then we get an ace of clubs on a club on the river and um, looking at the pot odds that's a tough fold I, I do end up making it I don't know if it's correct or not but I think my uh, my thinking at the time was I, I can get this guy in a good spot he's short I don't want to double him up and have him walk away from the table uh, you know, let me just fold, let him take the small hand, and then I'll try to get him for a big pot. Um, you know, and, and heads up is a little bit like that. There's more than just this hand. You have a whole dynamic going, and so if you're going to lose the player completely, if he wins one hand off you, sometimes it's better to pass up what might be a slightly positive EV spot just for the sake of keeping the guy around. Uh, here we just, you know, um, actually uh, hit an 8 out of position and bet for value. And then uh, with this queen 10 on the right, we just make a standard raise. We're going to be raising a lot. Notice the guy on the right, we're making a 3x raise because he's got a bigger stack. The guy on the left, we were making it just 2x. I think he's got a bigger stack now, so we'll, we'll bump it up to 3x. Now, uh, let's see. Yep, so we make a standard continuation bet on the right. Um, you know, you just, honestly, you, you just bet, bet, bet. You just stay aggressive, keep betting, and you end up winning a lot of pots that way. So we don't slow down, you know, there's so many draws out there. Uh, we just stay after this guy. And now that's a real bad card because there were so many draws, now they just hit on the right. And uh, we check back, let's see what this guy ends up having. Uh, because we, we think he might be going for a check raise or something like that. Realistically, given the fact that he checks the river, uh, it might be worth betting there because uh, maybe he just had overcards and, you know, he'll, his king high will take it down. I, I thought I was beat, 
but he ended up to be calling down with an even worse hand than you know what I could have possibly thought he would have. And then on the left we've got the eight seven, and as you can see, you know this is a uh, played out pretty standard. Nothing really to mention there. I'm gonna try to keep this video pretty quick, so I'm gonna go through it quick, and, and I'll put some annotations in afterwards so that you guys can see the hands. That you, if you miss something, you can just replay the hand. Uh, so yeah, on the right, um, you know, we'll just show down the nine. It, it was pretty clearly, it was clear that that was going to be the best hand. But just keep in mind how aggressive we're being. We're we're playing aggressively. We're taking down pots. We're going after all these pots. Uh, you know, we're not we're not calling off in in stupid spots though. But we are being very aggressive, and and that gets under people's skin, and that's why sometimes heads up can can really be profitable. So in this spot, uh, on the right, watch uh, watch what happens on the right hand. Um, the left hand is kind of irrelevant. I think we fold, yeah. So we don't want to play out of position. So we're being aggressive. We're on the button. You know, uh, no reason to let up. There's some draws. You know, there is a ten jack. Uh, but you know, we just we're just gonna go for it and try to push him off of it. And that second nine isn't very good for us because. It's one of the hands that he, you know, he could have put on. The fact that he checks is kind of weird, and so maybe again, probably could have taken a shot at it. Uh, but he ends up calling us, you know, two streets with the eight, which is fine by him. But, but also keep in mind what he's now seen. He saw us go bet bet with King Jack. Now, you know, we've got that image. We've got that that aggressive image that, uh, you know, we are kind of not playing wild, but you know, he knows that we're we're making moves. Uh, and so we're not going to let up. Uh, if, you, if you know that, you know, you want to keep doing that and you want to keep being aggressive uh, because, um, you know, eventually you'll catch the guy uh, doing something stupid. On the left, uh, I think uh, maybe we floated once there on the left and then we give up on it because we, we just, we want to keep the guy around. We don't want to, uh, we don't want to risk, um, you know, uh, trying to make some fancy move and, and then losing the, losing the situation because uh, we've got an edge. So we're, we're just going to kind of play not – I mean, we'll play pretty standard. We'll just play aggressive. If he's, like, really getting aggressive, we're just going to let him have it. We're not going to try to just out-bluff uh, out the guy. And, uh, you know, the – the thing with these games is that it's a lot about flow. Um, you, you've got to kind of pay attention to the game flow, pay attention to how many times they're three betting, how often you're three betting. Uh, you need to keep your aggression high because if you just wait for hands, um, they're just going to fold every time you three bet. They're going to fold every time you raise. So you need to keep up that level of aggression, and it just needs to be controlled aggression. All right, so, um, yeah, and... Uh, yeah, he had he had the straight there, so I don't know. Maybe that was that was a silly, uh, silly play by me, but um, yeah, it happens. Let me know what you think of that. I mean, I, I I think I probably can get away. So here, I'm not gonna let up with the ace king. I'm just gonna stay aggressive. I'm, I'm gonna keep raising, keep betting, and same you know same thing obviously with the ace queen. But all right, so you know we go ahead and I think this is our first four bet. It is the first time we've ever four bet, and he just jams it all in. So I'm like, oh man, what's he gonna have? He's got the nine deuce. All right, that'll work. Um, we hold amazingly. So I mean, what happened there, right? Like the guy just blew up all of a sudden. He didn't quite give us his money. I mean, what is that like a sixty forty? I mean, we were ahead, but uh, and then in the chat, you know, <laughs> I didn't see this till after he'd left the table. But I saw he's like, oh, I guess that's what aggression does. <laughs> so I didn't realize that. What he meant at the time was I'd been so aggressive against him that he just thought I was full, uh, you know, full of crap the whole time. He he was just after it. You know, by by betting and betting and betting, I, I got under his skin. I made him think that uh, I wasn't playing straight up. He made a move. I think he picked a horrible hand to do it with. Uh, and, and we ended up stacking him and taking a buy-in off of somebody that quickly. I mean, this was <laughs> this was 
like a 24 minute session I played. I, I mean, I played for 24 minutes. I made about $50. Uh, I think like 42 or $43 was the actual amount, but you know, less than a half hour, 50 bucks, 25, no limit. I, that works. That's pretty good. I ran pretty well, but you know, you just, <laughs> uh, you stay after these guys and they'll make mistakes like that. And that's what I love about heads up is the dynamic that, you know, you can really just, you, you can really get after people and they make huge mistakes. And you, it's like, if you find a fish at a six max table, you try to isolate him. If you find a, a fish heads up, um, you're already isolated. You're, that's the only guy you're going to play. It's by far the most profitable form of poker. Uh, I think it, it makes you learn the most because you, you play so many hands and you learn about all these different situations and you learn about betting patterns and you learn about hand reading, but it's challenging. You need a big bankroll and the swings are brutal. Like the swings can be pretty brutal in heads up because you get all, you get all in a lot. There's a lot of all ins. There's a lot of big pots um, because you're playing everything so thin. You know, by that, I mean, I mean, like, I <laughs> take that pot down with the six. Um, by thin, you know, what I mean is you're just getting in light. You know, you you bet um, second pair like it's top pair and, uh, you know, <laughs> top pair like it's two pair. You just play aggressive in this, and people don't do well in it sometimes, and it allows you to make a lot of money. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I think I've probably made more playing heads up than all my six max, uh, you know, combined throughout my kind of poker career. Um, made the most in tournaments, but that's a little different. All right, so this is an interesting one. Again, we've been aggressive. So what do we do? When we hit a hand, the, the key in this thing, and I, I talk about this during six max all the time, but even more important, keep betting. I turn my two pair, I don't slow down, I bet almost full pot. And then I, I river like the nuts. Do I slow down? No. Do I bet half pot? No. I go for the nine into 905. All right, I bet full, I think that's 905. Uh, I can't quite read it, but I go for the full, you know, as much as I can get. And what's he call with? I think I bring it into the, uh, into the screen uh, later. I'm not sure if we'll show it here, but he called with the queen. He didn't even have top pair, but because I would have been aggressive and because of the way I bet, um, if I had bet half pot, I don't know if he folds, probably not, but because I, I just was, you know, almost full pot, almost full pot, he just didn't believe it. And if you bet like that and if you're aggressive and if you're under people's skin, you'll, you'll take big pots off of them. Uh, and that's, uh, that's what we ended up doing there. So here, I mean, the straight's on the board, and I just check it back. I think he ended up, oh, I, what's interesting about this hand is notice that he was he was being aggressive with nothing, and I was calling him down. As soon as he got some showdown value, he stopped, and he just wanted to see a showdown. So that's important to note. Anyway, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to make it really brief. Let me know what you think of the hands in the comments. Let me know if you like the format. Um, this is Unexceptional Rounder. Uh, make sure you guys uh, look me up on Twitter, urounder, and facebook.com slash urounder. All right, you guys have a good one. Keep on grinding.